Hi class, today we are on Saxon Book 3, Lesson 53, and we're going to talk about rectangular grid patterns. So, there's a couple words you need to know, and you need to know the difference between them. We have columns, and we have rows. So, for columns, I like to look at the illustration of a house. Sometimes you have a house, and on the front porch, the roof is being held up by columns. So it might look like this, one right there, and one right there. Maybe they have a little decorative pattern on them, which I've done a horrible job of illustrating. But those are columns. So columns go up and down, all right? Rows, rows are oftentimes what we sit in when we're at the movie theater or if we're going to see a play or sometimes in school, rows are horizontal and they go like this. So columns up and down, rows back and forth. So if we're looking at any of my grid patterns here, the column goes this way. So the question might be how many columns are in this grid pattern? It would be one, two, three, four, five, versus the rows go horizontally. So how many rows? We have one, two, three, okay? So for our first example, we're actually gonna look at this grid right here. And the question says, what is the length and what is the width? So keep in mind from yesterday's lesson, length is referring to the longer side of the rectangle. So this one right here has a length of how many units? So we're counting squares or blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four. So my length My length is four units. Now, if I told you that each of those blocks were an inch or each of them was a centimeter, then we would say four inches, four centimeters. But since I haven't told you what measurement they are, we just call them units. Second question is what is the width? We do the same thing going down the column. So one, two, three. Our width is three units. All right, our next example, we're looking at the same picture that we just counted. And now the question says, how many small squares are inside this rectangle? Well, I could count them by ones, but I don't really wanna do that because I know an easier way, a quicker way. I know that there are three squares in each column. So I can just go across the columns counting by three, and I could say three, six, nine, twelve. There are twelve square units inside that picture. We call it a square unit because each of them are little squares. So twelve square units inside this picture. Or, if I think it's easier to count by fours, I could go the other way, down the columns, counting by fours. And I would say four, eight, twelve. Hey, I got the same answer. Either way I count, there are twelve square units inside that picture. All right. If you are in my class, once again, there's an activity in the book that we are going to do together a little bit later today. Um, the activity is on page 289 of your textbook. If you're not in my class, you can do this at home with a parent or another homeschooling teacher. All right, we are going to do some lesson practice together, however. So for my first problem, Take a look at this picture right here, and you are going to tell me the length, the width, and how many small squares are inside the rectangle. 
I'm going to do the same thing with this picture right here. Length, width, and how many small squares are inside the rectangle. So figure that out, hit pause, and come back to me when you're ready to talk about it. So let's switch colors here. For this one, my length is the longer side. So I have one, two, three, four, five units. My width is the shorter side, so I have one, two, three units. And I have to figure out how many small squares are inside that picture. Do I want to count by fives or threes? I think fives. So five, 10, 15. There are 15 square units. We put this little two up there to show that it's a square unit. And we'll talk more about that in later lessons. Okay, what about this one? What's the length and what's the width? Well, Mrs. Duarte, they're the same. So I can't really say one's length and one's width, but what's the side length here? One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So how many small squares are in this shape? I'm gonna count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, here I have 16, 16 square units. All right, for the next problem, you should use grid paper. So if you have graph paper at home, that's a great resource for this type of problem. Or you might just draw your boxes out the way I did. But you are going to draw a rectangle that is five units by two units, and then you're gonna tell me how many small squares are in that rectangle. So I'm gonna do it on the board while you do it at home. If you need a little extra time, hit pause. Okay, we've got five units by two units, so I start by drawing a rectangle. And I'm going to split that one in half. That'll be my two units. Then I have to split it in five. So I like to find the middle and just go a little bit to the left. And then I split this side into two. And I split this side into three so that I have a total of five units across. So it's two by five. Let's count by fives. Five, ten. That would be 10 square units. For the next one, you're going to draw a 5 unit by 5 unit rectangle. 5 units by 5 units, and then tell me how many small squares are inside. Please excuse my phone. Okay, so for this one, we have five by five. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 square units. There are two more problems in the lesson practice on page 289 of your textbook. Try those on your own, and when I see you today, we'll go over the answers in class. Have a great day, and don't forget to do your written practice, which begins on page 290. I will see you soon.